Welcome to In 5 Minutes. Now we'll discuss a new topic structure array that is array of structures. Like you can define array of integers, array of float that is primitive types. We can define the arrays of pointers and even structures also. To define array of structures obviously we need to first define our own structure data type and then using that structure data type we can define an array of structures. Now first just as for reference I write a syntax for defining array we write first data type then we write name of the array and then in box bracket we mention size of the array this is a syntax for defining an array if a type mentioned over here is int it stands for its integer array that is collection of multiple integers if the type mentioned over there is a structure then it will be a structure array that is collection of multiple structure variables now take a simple example to understand this entire concept we have a structure demo data type defined with a and b as two members so this defines a user defined data type with name structure demo now we can define a simple variable using structure demo as just simple struct demo and some name m so this will define a single m variable which will have two parts a an integer and b a float we can access it using m dot a and m dot b notation now if you want to define a structure array then we'll just put over here some size as 3 m will be an array of three structure demo variables so this will define an array of three structures there will be m0 m1 and m2 basically m is an array of three elements so m is a collection of three elements m0 m1 m2 and m0 m1 m2 themselves will be of type structure demo so obviously m0 is a structure having a and b inside it again m1 will be structure with a and b inside it and m2 is a structure having a and b inside it to access any structure and its members we can use syntax of structures First of all, suppose I want to work with this structure members. I can write structure name as m1 and access the member as m1.a. To access the b variable, I can write m1.b. To suppose input the value for b of m2, I can use scanf with percentage f and write and m2, which is structure name dot member name b. Suppose I want to output the value of A of M0, we can write printf percentage D because it's an integer. We write M0 that is structure name dot A as a member name. So simply everywhere using same syntax structure name dot member name, only structure name over here is M0, M1, M2, M3, and so on. So now using this syntax, we'll be writing a complete program to understand how to work with a structure. See now it is also possible that suppose there is some variable i initialized to 1 then if I write printf percentage d m i dot a it will be m1 dot a so we can access even structure member or arrays using index variable and putting index variable at the place of index value you can access multiple variables so if i 0 we are accessing m 0 if i is 1 we are accessing m1 so we can access m0 m1 m2 multiple elements also that is a normal syntax that we used for accessing multiple elements of the array now let's put this together into one small program to understand the concept now we'll write a normal program that starts with normal hash rule commands then structure demo definition then we'll write main program that first defines a structure array so here m is a collection there is m is an array of three structure demo variables so in computer's memory there will be m0 m1 m2 defined as three structure variables collection will be called as m each m0 m1 m2 will have its own a b variables separately created we can access them as m1 dot a or m2 dot b or m0 dot a these notations you can use now take an example i want to just process the second structure which is m1 i want to input value for m1 then I want to store half the value into b suppose a is 5 i want to store 
2.5 into b. Now we can do it. We can use a simple syntax like this. 